Question number one, this vaccine was developed quickly. Is it safe? Yes, all vaccines go through clinical trials and meet rigorous FDA standards to ensure that they are safe and effective. They are continuously monitored for side effects not detected during the regular clinical trials. The COVID-19 vaccines were developed faster, but no safety steps were skipped. Question number two, will the vaccine give me COVID-19? No, none of the COVID-19 vaccines contain the live virus that causes COVID-19. Question number three, do I have to get two doses? Yes. For the current vaccines that are available, the first dose is designed to train your body to recognize the virus and ramp up the immune system. The second shot strengthens that response. We know at least one future potential vaccine will require only a single dose, but we are waiting for the FDA to approve this vaccine. With what we are using currently, Pfizer's vaccine is 52% effective after the first shot and 95% effective after the second dose. Moderna's vaccine is also just over 50% effective after the first shot and 94.5% effective after the second dose. Question number four, how will I know it's my turn to get vaccinated? Vaccination eligibility is broken down into categories based on California's vaccine priority list. You need to know where you fall on that list so when your turn is up, you can book an appointment. The complete list can be found at www.coronavirus-sd.com. Question number five, where can I get the vaccine? Your healthcare provider may contact you when they have vaccine available. If they are not administering the vaccine, the county is supporting locations across the region and has mobile teams also in place. All sites require an appointment. You can go to the county website for more information. Question number six, how much will it cost? What if I don't have health insurance? The COVID vaccines are provided at no cost and available whether you have insurance or not. However, a non-county provider may charge an administration fee. Question number seven, what about the side effects and are they the same for both doses? Common side effects include soreness or swelling in the arm where you receive the shot. You may also experience mild flu-like symptoms, a fever, chills, tiredness, or even a headache. These should all go away in a few days. Question number eight, why do I have to provide personal information like my address and birth date to get the vaccine? The county is required to enter the information into the immunization registry to track adverse reactions, address safety issues, and measure the vaccine's effectiveness in different populations. It also provides a way for you to be contacted if needed. Question number nine, once I get the vaccine, do I still need to wear a mask or will I be fully protected? Well, you will be protected, but not 100% protected. And it's unclear whether or not people who receive the COVID-19 vaccine can be asymptomatic spreaders. It also takes time to develop herd immunity to stop the spread of the disease. So you will still need to follow the CDC safety guidelines and practice the three W's. Wash your hands, watch your distance, and wear a mask. And last, question number 10. What is herd immunity and how do we achieve it? Herd immunity is when the majority of a population is protected because they've already had COVID-19 or they have been vaccinated. Herd immunity makes it difficult for the disease to spread person to person. And it even protects those who cannot be vaccinated, like newborns, for instance. Experts don't know yet what it will take to achieve herd immunity with COVID-19, but research is still being conducted.